Urinary tract infections are extremely common. Around one in two women and one in 20 men will get a UTI in their lifetime. Plus, once you've had one UT challenge, you're way more susceptible to another in the future. That's why you just need Just Thrive's UT123. This product can actually prevent UTIs while maintaining your urinary tract health. UT123 targets both immediate and long-term relief. We've all heard to drink cranberry juice for your urinary tract, but did you know that for the full effects, you need the whole cranberry? Not just juice, but the skin, flesh, and even the seeds. Well, UT123 uses superior ingredients that utilizes the whole fruit. This supplement truly is the full package. So if you're someone who struggles with the constant urge to urinate, a burning feeling when you pee, pelvic pain, or just want to be proactive in your urinary health, Just Thrive is for you. Just Thrive is so confident you'll love their product that there is a 100% money-back guarantee on every purchase made through JustThriveHealth.com. And for a limited time, you can save 20% off site-wide at JustThriveHealth.com with promo code SEXWITHEMILY. That's JustThriveHealth.com and use code SEXWITHEMILY for 20% off your order. You're going to love it. Listen, alcohol is just out in 2024. There is a rising trend of going alcohol-free or being sober curious, and alcohol, the truth is, it's just bad for you and can famously impair your sex life. So if you're looking for another way to unwind, relax, or just have fun, I cannot recommend Vaya's THC gummies enough. Vaya has gummies for every occasion. Whether it's to improve your sleep, I love their sleep gummies, I take them everywhere, your mood or your focus, they even have an aphrodisiac gummy called High Love to boost my arousal levels. High Love has a unique blend of cannabinoids and aphrodisiac exotic herbs that are known for their libido enhancing effects. So I've been using Vaya for a while now and I absolutely love them. They're a super trusted company, they use premium hemp, natural ingredients, and they're known for their premium indoor THCA flower. All their products are made here in the U.S. They got quick and discreet shipping to all 50 states so you can all enjoy them, not to worry, and also super affordable. So head over to viahemp.com and use code EMILY at checkout to save 15% off your order. That's V-I-I-A-H-E-M-P.com. Use code EMILY at checkout for 15% off your order and let me know what you think. You got a boyfriend? Because uh, my man E here, he just got his heart broken. He thinks you're kind of cute. A girl's got to have her standards. Oh, my. Do women know about shrinkage? Isn't it common knowledge? What do you mean? Like laundry? It shrinks? Can we not talk about sex so much? Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. I feel so good. Being bad feels pretty good. But you know, Emily's not the kind of girl you just play with. You're listening to Sex with Emily. We're talking about sex relationships and everything in between. For more information, go to sexwithemily.com where you can listen to all of our podcasts, sign up for our mailing list. You can, it's your daily sex information happening at sexwithemily.com. So thanks everyone and thanks for becoming friends with Benefits members. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter, Sex with Emily. And uh, I'm excited for today's show. We've got a special guest here, Pony Gold. Hi, Pony. Hi. How How's are you? Going? Good. Okay, I got to tell you about Pony. So Pony was on my second show about six years ago because no, you ago. knew so much about sex and sex <laughs> and dating and love and all that stuff. And we talked about a lot. I remember talking about anal sex with you in particular. But today, Pony has Pony has been doing amazing things since I've seen you last. You are a videographer of pornography. Right. All right. So we're going to get into everything that you've seen, that you've done, that you've witnessed. She's a photographer. She's done amazing photography that we're going to get into in a minute. For Taboo, what is it? It's Taboo Hustler? It's Hustler Taboo Magazine. Hustler Taboo yeah. Magazine. These are the hottest photos. And um, I'm just so glad you're here today. So thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. Gosh, it's just, this is amazing. I mean, we, we've come such a long way. Both I know. of us, there's been a lot of changes in our lives. I and know. It's just, you know, it's good to meet with an old friend. And, it is, it and is catch exciting. Up. I know. I love Let's it. Let's catch up on everything. Let's catch up on everything. Okay, so first <laughs> when you were on the show... I remember you used to work at a sex toy shop, right? Like right. years ago. Yeah. And then I was like, wow, that's so cool. Like I hadn't done anything. I was like, I mean, I've come a long way. You can't believe what I've done since we saw each other last six, you know, since we started six years ago. But um, so now, so you, but now you work as a, at kink.com, which many people know. Talk, tell me a little about kink.com if people don't know what it is. Kink.com is a uh, very just, oh, we make BDSM pornography. It's amazing. It's the... Uh, 
it's the most beautiful porn out there, I would say. Like it was the most What is BDSM big. porn for people who don't know what that is? Uh, bondage sadomasochism, which is like, you know, whips and chains and flaggers and... and- all the, you know, we, we actually have a really wide range of fetishes. We have about like 20 different websites wow. and all cater to different fetishes all around as okay. well as some little more vanilla than others. You know, we cater to everyone. So it's awesome. What are some of the fetish sites? Uh, some of them, whatever, some of our most popular ones are fuckingmachines.com. Fuckingmachines.com. I've heard of that. Yeah. Which is, you know, the lone lady and the big hunk of metal just pounding her. And it's really Really, really hot That's website. So hot. Okay. Uh, we also have publicdisgrace.com, which is a public website. We go to different venues and bars and restaurants all around San Francisco and Europe. They do Euro tours. Wow. Where they, it's about uh, public humiliation and it's just a lot of fun. A lot of fun. That's so cool. So, what kind yeah. of stuff do you shoot? Well, what I'm shooting right now is I'm shooting for a website called Wired Pussy. It's okay. like a, it's a femdom lesbian website revolving around electrical play. Electrical play. Yeah, electricity. Um, there's different. There's a slew of different toys out there with uh, that can just shock you in different. Have ways. you ever been shocked? Yes. And how does it feel? Lovely. Really? <laughs> I so love do you it. incorporate this stuff into your own sex life? I have. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, working for the website, you want to know what yeah. are these? What are these amazing women going through? Because for one thing, electricity. Is is a huge, you know, we grow up learning that it's it's dangerous right. and that you Isn't shouldn't it? play with it. <laughs> and so this, it, it, no, in fact, <laughs> we there are there are certain safety rules we have to abide by, which we do. But um, all in all, the the toys that we play with are manufactured for this purpose. Okay, they're manufactured for sex play. So what do they, they absolutely like? so- are? What are they? They're like, what are they like tasers or something? Or we do play with tasers. Okay, that's so hot. Oh my god! (laughs) You know what though? And what I really love about Wired too is that there aren't any marks. You know, it's rare that you have a mark. A lot of models come in. You know, they shoot the next day. They have a, a shoot the next week, and they can't have any heavy marks, but. This kind of like gives you that um, taste of pain that you've been wanting and pleasure. I don't know that I've been wanting it. I don't know. Do you think I want it and I don't know that I want the pain? I'm not saying that. Okay. No, it's up to you. But explain to me how it works. So walk me through Walk me through one of your shoots. Like what? how long How long are the videos at Wired Pussy? Uh, we shoot about three scenes, about 20 minutes each scene. And it's just a woman being – like is a guy or a, another woman it's doing female, it? female, female. Female, so female. All right, femdom, lesbian, family, dom. Lesbian Got website, it. Okay. Yeah. So so are they shocking them each other the whole time or is it one person getting shocked and the other person – so how does it work? Well, no, it, it's mainly just like one person um, is a submissive and the other is a dom and uh, basically the dom – uses different electrical instruments on the on the wow. submissive. And, you know, sometimes there's a story. Sometimes um, there isn't. Sometimes it's just like, just get right into it, you know. And the women that we work with on the site are experienced and uh, really enjoy this. Like, they're really into it and right. they love it. Some of, them are, some of them are newbies that are just really curious and they've never tried it before. Wow. And that, I think, is the most fun. Really? So they're really on camera having their first shocking, yeah. literally shocking, yeah. shock. And there's experience. different toys, you know, and, and they range. Like, they're adjustable. So, you know, you don't have to, like, shock the shit out of someone right away. I mean, right. it's very sensual. It's very, like, they incorporate, you know, the play with the electricity. Oh, okay. That's for, I gotta check it out. Mm-hmm. You gotta give me a login. Oh, I guess I could join. Yeah. Okay, so how did you um how did you get into this? Well, you know, as you know me, I've been kind of involved for a long time in the sex now. world, right? Yeah, and um, I've just I've kind of found the home. I suppose you love it. I do love it. I, we've, I keep, we can't wait because King is it's the Armory Building, which is this amazing building in San Francisco that has like all these different rooms, right? Like mm-hmm. fetish rooms. Oh my and, god, there's. It's a I'm going to have a heart building. attack when we go. Yeah, I can't wait to go. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what have you learned about your own sexuality, you think, by shooting this stuff, by shooting pornography? Well, it's... I mean, you, I know you've known a lot, so so you must have <laughs> you must have learned <laughs> a whole lot more because you were teaching me stuff six years ago. Uh, well, I guess I've just learned more techniques and more... Uh, I've opened my mind a lot more to different venues and yeah. different ways like of what? Like, it, like what kind of stuff? Well, electricity, for one. Right. I mean, that's the thing that... You know, I was working this website for a while and then I realized, gosh, you know, I don't know 
what these women are actually going through. Right. So I want to feel right. it. I want to know what it's like. And it's really cool. I mean, there we have so many different instruments and they all feel different. And one of my, some of my favorite things are there's these little sticky pads. And I don't know if you've ever been to um, physical therapy before, yeah. but like they sometimes use these black sticky pads that they'll put on your muscles and it contracts the muscle and it kind of helps you through it like can um kind of melt away uh knots in the muscle okay. and things like that so when we play with them though we just put them on more a little more sensitive areas oh. you know like between your thighs and like right on your pubic bone where wow. you where it hits your g-spot and um so does it bring you to orgasm some instruments can yeah there's this one called the samurai where it's like an electrified dildo basically it's like a big metal dildo and it, it actually we have different sizes right. but um and what that does is it, it it contracts the vaginal muscles as if you were having an orgasm so when you naturally have an orgasm, your muscles tighten up. Right. This tightens your muscles for you. Wow. And that incorporated with like a vibrator on the clitoris is just like I want, heavenly. I'm like wanting to go back with you to the office you after this. Try that it. is so hot. Can we do that? I feel like I should try everything. It's so exciting. I mean, it's really exciting to me. You know, I think it's just so. Is anyone, it, is it ever too much pain for someone though? Are they yeah. ever like, that's too much. I can't, like it's well, not even sexual at that point or. No, I I think a lot of people do, you know, purposefully push their limits. And that's kind of the whole purpose of the game is to see how far you can go. How much can you take? See, I've never, I've never done that. Like, I want to just be tied up at this Mm -hmm. point. Like, I just want, like, I want to start with the basics. Yeah, and the the purpose is is not to break the person. It is to, like, have fun and have pleasure. And there's a lot of pleasure involved. So, but, you know, we like we are BDSM and, and right. that is like the realm that we work within. And so- like all the videos are BDSM. Like I know the one. What's the one called when they the the two women are wrestling and then one. Oh, Ultimate Surrender. Ultimate Surrender. Yeah. I want to watch one of those. Those the are. The winner gets to, to go fuck to a live loser, show. However they want. Like yeah. in the wrestling match. You know they have live shows for that. Yes. We have Can live shows. Of I mean, yes, you know what I mean? Absolutely. And I it's a free show. Okay. It, you don't have to pay to go. You just have to contact the website and contact the producer involved. And um, I think if you go to audience at kink.com, okay, you, you can, can apply for any because we do do live shows for public disgrace, which is a lot of fun. Okay. And uh, what I, that is actually another website I'm, I've been working what is for. Pub, what is the public disgrace exactly? Public disgrace is we basically walk a girl into a bar, a restaurant, anything, and and disc- we just do various things to describe Like for her. real? Like you really have to get, like, do you get random people, you know, it's, yeah, it's it's like, like the general like, public is invited. Okay, so say, where did we shoot last? We shot the knockout, okay. right? So what's um, the knockout? The if knockout is a bar, it's a bar on, right, okay. uh, on Mission Street. Right. And, um, so we walk into the bar. It's Gia DeMarco, and she's she's actually in this match. Okay, we're going to show those in a minute. Yeah, and she's lovely. And uh, basically, you know, they just – we have a couple people on board. You know, Princess Donna is the director of that website. She does a great job. Um, she presents the, the, the model to everyone. And basically what I like to say is that it's a human petting zoo. You actually – this beautiful woman we brought in, you can touch her and like spank her and whatever her so limits So the people who are by. actually sitting in the bar participate? Yeah, they do. Wow. That's it's so- really hot. And to me, it's almost like a social experiment because right. when I when I arrive on set, you know, a lot of people are just like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do anything. I'm right, just going right, to like right. hang out over here in the corner. But then once they kind of feel comfortable you know that's the thing what i really love is that we make people feel comfortable with their own sexuality right they see what's going on they know the model is okay with it the model is like the model what i love the most is has all the power she looks like she's submissive and that she's doing things for other people right. but in reality she at any time can say i don't like that we encourage them to do so you know and we're watching over them the whole time making right. sure that they're happy and things are going the way that they want them to. It's like they can, you can live your ultimate fantasy through us knowing that it's like protected. Can anyone know? Can anyone can. 
What do you yeah. mean anyone? Like you well, guys anyone. take all well, models? Well, you know, all... say you. You're beautiful. Oh. You know, we would obviously love to shoot you. That would be like, fun. But I don't know what I would do. I would well, like. Well, so say if you were to, you know, apply and be like, Donna, I really love to do Public Disgrace. And we um, we have you on the, sh- on the show, basically. And you'll fill out a list of things that you don't want. Okay. Like, this is what I don't want. This is what I want to happen. This is what I don't want to happen. And right. we just like really, uh, you know, respect you and... That's right. basically how it goes. Like okay. we just abide by anything that you say. What about what would what would your advice be for someone who wants to get into like bondage and stuff? And they have like we're talking basic beginners because kink mm-hmm. is kind of like people watch it. Really like, what if someone's watching? They're like, I'd love to do that, but like, how do you even start? You could start small. Like how? I know that you. <laughs> I know that you talked about this before. You no, know, like little little little, little things. While. You know, just start with like small amounts of bondage. See how you feel being tied up. See how it feels to be dominant. See how it feels to be submissive. And you know what? You don't always have to be in bondage to experience that. Right. Exactly. Right. right. Okay. Good. So I'm just curious because some people are like listening to this and they're like whoa that's so out there but i kind of like you know to be a little like tied up or something right so, well it doesn't have to be as extreme exactly as like go. this is extreme and yeah it's these are experienced side. people that we work with right. you know and we are experienced and we know what we're doing so it's kind of like don't try this at home kids you know sometimes right we actually i just wrote a book called hot sex mm-hmm. and there's some models that are kink models in our book <laughs> Like that, but they become illustrated, so you can't really tell who they are. But they use some models I know that had also been a kink. So oh, nice, yeah, it's cool. I got to show. I should have brought you a copy of it. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so what would you say is? Um, so what else have you? Like you know, I know you know so much about sex, but what have you learned about like female sexuality? Like, is there anything that you've seen pushed or like stretched the limits of women that you've seen that really has turned you on, or that you've learned, or that you could share? Crying. Is that, I don't know what it is. I don't know why when you said that, the first thing that came to mind was crying. That people crying during sex? Yeah, or crying during, I mean, during the websites that I work for and, you know, in general, like, especially in BDSM. That's one thing that's really woken me up because I've kind of always, we naturally associate crying with something negative, you know, like right. something wrong is happening or you're uncomfortable or you're not having a good time. And one thing that I've really experienced personally as well as, publicly is is crying is like this really amazing release right and when you're at a point where you are overwhelmed which is how it's kind of supposed yes. to go you know like yeah. we're supposed to like push you to your limits and when you get to the limit sometimes there's a little button in your head that gets pushed it's like a it's like a subconscious right, thing right it kind of almost for me the times that I've cried it's almost like it brings me back to being a younger kid where you're just like right. I'm in trouble right 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 right. Oh, no. and then you know, and then the beautiful thing is too is when you do start to cry there's so much support behind you and there's so much like positive influence in that of like all right you're doing great right, and, right. you know and and they often like the models that we work with are so in tune with themselves that we are able to cry and that's okay. Right. It's and that's totally fine. A lot of people cry from sex after sex or before, right. during orgasms or and, whatever. Well, I think, you know, in a, a typical situation, that's like, whoa, what's going on? Are you, what, you're psycho. You're weird. What's right. going on? I, I don't understand. And that was something that I had. Yeah. It was like a little bit of judgment before I started working for this company. And now I realize like the process of, of process. So pain. a lot of times you're saying the models are crying on camera. Yeah, like sometimes. It's part of their shoot. It happens right? sometimes, right. yeah. Which is, yeah, normal. Which Aww. I think is just, it's beautiful sometimes. Oh, my God. It's just, because it gets them deep inside, you know. They're so uh, just inspired and they're, most of the time, it's like out of like, you know, you get in their head and right. it's such a mental fuck sometimes. Right, right. It, it oh is. My God. Wow. That's, I mean, so that's many powerful. people don't experience any of this stuff in their Sex life, right? Yeah. I mean, they it's don't... expanding your mind. I'd say, right? That's really cool. Mm-hmm. So, what about? So, you shoot the scenes. Do you get turned on ever when you're watching it? Oh, absolutely. You do? Oh, yeah. I it's wouldn't be just doing like, it. Okay. I, right. Yeah, I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't love it. If I didn't think it was hot. Okay. And now you're yeah. married, right? Mm-hmm. And do you um do you hook up with women yourself? I do. You do. Like women you meet at work and all that stuff. So, um, you know. I, sometimes or wherever That's not, not not really necessarily who i work with right. I, I do i maintain like a really professional relationship right exactly so it, i tr- i don't so do really... you it's it you and your husband but in my personal life outside of work yeah i do and you always have 
Have oh you yeah, always, you've always talked about this ever okay. since I started having sex in general. Wow, and you're mm-hmm. and with with your husband too, or separate? Yeah, That's and hot. both. I mean, both separate, right? And it's totally fine. He's fine with that. It is good. You know, it's a case per case basis. It's negotiable, like any relationship. Sometimes you feel a little threatened by one person or another. And, right, um, right, right. You have to have really honest, open communication. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So, what would you say? Um, so if you've been with women and you perform oral sex, would you have any like good oral sex tips that you can share? With what do you women? think? That, yeah. Like what do you think guys God need to know? I'm still learning. <laughs> Come on. But what would be something that you're like, why don't more people do this? So this I, is just a good tip. That can I confess to you really yeah. quick? So I am a woman, right? And I have a vagina and all. But I still feel confused sometimes. Yeah, I know. Me too. Do you like when you're down there and you're just like... Does she like this? It's like sometimes communication isn't really all that fabulous. Right. And you have to communicate what you like. I guess you kind of do. And I have to admit that I do get confused still sometimes. Right. Yeah, when that's I'm, confusing. When I'm going down on a lady. So and guys should feel better that, that, that women get confused by vaginas Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Like you're not the only ones who get confused by vaginas. Men too. You know, sometimes I'm like, is he liking this? I mean, I'm just like, I'm trying to be perceptive, but when it, mostly it's, I do have some confusion <laughs> it's like there's a lot going on down there and it's, it's not, like and every woman is perfect. different what about what about when you're performing oral sex on a man yeah i think the general you know for me a general rule from when i am in the process is like just take it slow yes and then just feel it out i always tell everyone slow everyone down so. slow down you, i always tell guys like you should go five times slower than you think you should yeah you, if you want speed up yeah, and then speed up. From there. And then slow down. And then speed up. <laughs> and then slow down. Yeah. God, I'm sure this has just done wonders for your sex life. And I love that you're still married and all that. Yeah, right. Oh, yeah, I asked you that. I'm like, are you still really married? Well I'm like, I always him. assume, like, whatever. But that's so cool that he's, like, supportive and it's all working out. He's and- really. God, this, I am a fan of marriage. I'm a fan of this marriage that anyway. That is so good. We're doing really well. I'm, I'm so, so in love. He's my rock. He's like, I was really nervous before today. And he took were me out to lunch, nervous? fed me a couple of glasses of wine. You and... were nervous to be on my show after of you course. were my guest number two. And Are I've got kidding? like 300 shows. Always, always. Oh my God. You're amazing, Emily. Of course I want to. Oh my God. You're always <laughs> the best. I was like, oh my God, you're going to be on my show. And I remember you were, we were, we were talking about anal sex like on the second show. And I was like, how do you how do you do anal, how do you perform anal sex or like what do you say and you're like you're like start small I'm like small penis and you're like no <laughs> small finger small thing and I just remember you you've always been so informative and yeah. helpful on the show I just so always what are some identified other good sex with tips that. over I know it's so good what are some other good sex tips that you can share I don't anything know. <laughs> anything that you've seen that you've learned it doesn't have to be like personal but like just stuff that you well, another thing I'm really well, I'll, I don't know about tips, but I'll tell you what else I'm into. Yeah, da, yeah. Is, <laughs> do it. Tell me. Is uh, oral sex, like um, anal sex for men? I'm really into. How that. do you? How come guys are so freaked out that they're going to be seen as gay if they have? Oh, sex? they're not. In fact, I'll just tell you, I did have sex with a man the other night, and uh, he had sex with me first, and and all of a sudden he looked at me and he was like, "Do you have any dildos?" And I was like, "What? what? I do, but." Um, for what? And I also own a strap on and he's like, oh, I, I would really love it if you fucked me. And I was like, I absolutely would. Wow. And yes. you had, had you done it before? Oh, yeah. Uh, I have done it twice. Okay. Before on camera. Oh, so you've been. Well, I was, you know, I have my limits. Okay. But, uh, I have done it. Yeah. I've had wow. fucked guys in the ass on oh, camera. Oh, my God. Before. So what was that like? Amazing. Okay. Wow. So much fun. And he had he had he had that before, the guy yeah, that I recently were, was yeah. with. Yes. He okay. Has. He loves and it. So he obviously. I mean, when he asked me, he knew what he wanted. You know, okay. he was like, "So you have to walk he was me so through the whole thing." Because I've never done it to a man, okay. to be honest. Uh huh. Okay, so you strap it on the strap on. <laughs> you strap it on around your. I love your laugh. I forgot about your cute laugh. So you strap it. It's like a waist belt, and then it's got a dildo coming out. Right. And then you use lots of lube, right? Yeah. And then you. Just, I approved the size. I'm like, is the size okay with you? He said right. yes. And um, he was so cool about it, so, so casual, because he had done it a month, like a, a bunch of times before. Right. And he is also someone who is incredibly comfortable with his own sexuality. He also is a porn star. And, okay. Um, he has done this a million times before, right. so he just knows what he's doing. So that was really comfort- comforting. So does he have an orgasm from you penetrating him? Does he have an orgasm yes. that way? Oh, I didn't tell you the whole no, story. No, you did. Go back up, back up. Start over. Okay, so, so, okay. Okay. so we chose the dildo, 
and and I put on the strap on and I was giggling, of course, like the whole time. So I was just super excited because I've never really done this in my personal life. Right. And the times, the two other times I've done it before was in front of the camera, which I'm not normally in front of. It's okay. just, you know, it was someone was having a party and I was given that opportunity. I'm like, of course I will. Right. So, um, so this is my first personal time ever doing it. And like, I was so excited and nervous and I'd have sex. I'd had sex with this person before. So that was familiar. So, um, God, what happened? So yeah, I just immediately got into it and I was talking all this shit. I'm like, I'm going to fuck you just like you just fucked me. Wow. And I, and at first I was like, I'm not going to fuck you until you make me come. So he made me come and then we got the thing. And then I, um, how did he make you come? Did he, he just fucked me. Right. Okay. Okay. Awesome. It was just more for me. It kind of felt almost like a dominant thing where right. like, well, I'm not going to fuck you until you make me come. And right. then after you make me come, then I'll do it. Right. So um, I got mine. That's so hot. I just got turned on. Okay. I, <laughs> I love it. Okay. And then I was, you know, and I was just, just whispering in his ear, you know, just I'm going to fuck you like you fucked me. And just he, I think we did doggy style to start off with. Okay. And we were on the couch. So he was kind of up on his knees and I had my arm just wrapped around his neck. And I was just like, wow. It was amazing. That is so hot. Really hot. And wow. he's super hot too. Wow. I'm sure. Just, he's porn And he, it. it was great because there was another position that we took where I was on the bottom and he was on top and I was jerking him off and he came all over both of us. <gasps> wow. It was so hot. And I was thinking to myself, what a man. Right. What a man. What a man. So Ugh. then why are guys so intimidated by you? Like in the male, like why not just try it? Like I just feel like guys think that like it's only for gay sex, but they have a male, the male prostate. I mean, it can, they can have orgasms that way and it can feel amazing. I mean, they might not like it just like some women might not like anal sex, but mm-hmm. how do you get straight men to, to know that this could feel like this could be a really good thing? Like find a partner that you feel safe and comfortable with and mm-hmm. you could start with a finger. Right, you could start small. Start small. I've I've just been um, with my partner. I've been like kind of trying to coax him into. He it. won't and do some it. Some people like it, and some people don't. Right, like, right. It's, it's okay. not always that a... you have to like it. But you, what if this? What if it is this thing that you rocks your world, and you never try it? Right, right. That's amazing. You should try it. All you men, should, all you men, should try just it. try it. I really do think so. Pony knows. Pony gold. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so um, that is, sounds really, really fun. So what other kinds of things? So what did you do on camera when you were on camera? When I was on camera, um, I – you know what? The majority of my – it was a big party. So it was some, like it was for – the two times that I did do it, it was for this particular website called Divine Bitches. Okay. And uh, Matrice Madeline is the director for these sites. And she is amazing. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. No plastic surgery, right. like honestly, naturally, celebrity gorgeous okay. to me, you know. And so she throws these parties every once in a while Fun. where the women are the doms, you know, it's a femdom website. And the men are to worship them, and it's just so much fun and so empowering. It's such a refreshing right. take because you know we're used to like men dominating women and whatnot, and um, this this woman has just taken the reins and has just made these. She does uh, Divine Bitches as well as Whipped Ass, which is another lesbian okay. femdom website. She just is just rocking it. Right so now. what She's happens? So men job. are men are performing on you. Men are performing sex on your oral sex or whatever. Or what? Well, the parties involve um, different guys. They're available for certain services. Like one guy, one guy in particular is personally really into pain, so we'll use him as the pain slut. And another guy really loves getting fucked in the ass, so we'll all fuck him in the ass. You know, so the kind the party goes in stages, like four different stages. But meanwhile, there's other men running around, like getting drinks and giving massages and just pampering. That is so fun. And they're so go to that party. The boys are so kind and sweet and loving and it's just a lot of fun. And your husband is cool with all this. He is. He married you. He knows. He knows, man. Yeah. People can have relationships that are healthy and happy and still have experiences outside of their their marriage. But they're also, I'll be honest, is green light, red light. Right. You know, some people he doesn't like and when he doesn't particularly like someone, then I have to abide by that right. and be respectful. So you have to prove it. You talk about it first and it's not like right. you just do it. You're it's like, oh. not a, our relationship is not a free for all. Right. Yeah. Right. That's I good. don't just That's like healthy. go around 
screwing and I want to want, you know, right, and he right, doesn't right. go around screwing everyone he wants, but it, we just like, we consult each other. And... That is so healthy because I think, so would you say that you're in a polyamorous relationship then? I guess I would. Yeah. Or yeah. An open relationship. Because I've been thinking about that for myself. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of relationship I want. You've been talking about that for years, actually. <laughs> I'll say. I oh, my God. We've got, we got this so many because men is like every day is like, that's just what you want. But I don't know. I mean, I've, I've experimented with it. I've been more open with guys, but I've never. Have you been with the ladies? Yeah. I have. Yeah. I've been with women. Yeah. Yeah. That's exciting. I know. Had I not when I met you? Had I not never been? I don't before? know. I don't I think remember. I knew that. I can't remember if I had before. I think I had before, but not more recently, I guess, in the last six years. Mm-hmm. Sex family opens up many doors. Of course. As you know, being at kink.com probably opens up yeah, many doors and many orifices. Many orifices and many doors. Um, <laughs> so um, so you um, – what about well, – I'm trying to think what else. So where do you – Okay, for, let's tell you your photography. I want to show your photography here. So this okay. is Taboo Magazine. Yeah, so, you know, uh, these are the for hottest the past photos. year, okay. well, the past two and a half years, I've been doing uh, videography as well as photography for kink.com. And I have learned so much lighting design, um, positioning, composition, everything. Yeah, so, so you hadn't done that before because you were editing before, right? Or you were. Well, I was doing a production assistant work, okay. which does involve wow, photography. I know those are really hot photos. Oh, my God. Um, okay. And so, you know, Taboo came to Kink and wanted to work with us. They wanted to do something. They right. wanted to feature some of our work because we really focus on being authentic, real authentic BDSM it is real. I mean, it's real. Like people are really okay. I'm yeah. showing this to the camera this now. Woman. If you guys are watching the show, look at these photos. They are beautiful. Can you see? Okay. <laughs> and this is um, it's hot. And these were shot at Kink. So I love this one when she's swallowing his cum, when she's got her cum his mm-hmm. cum coming out of her mouth. I know everyone loves that photo. Look at this. They just, they just think the cum is coming out of her mouth. She just swallowed his cum in this photo, and then it's coming out of her mouth. I mean, you really right. caught a moment. These are beautiful photographs. This is a hard shot to take, the actual cum shoot. Cum shot. The, yeah, the cum shot itself is really hard to take. Do you know when you're, when you're shooting this part? So this is Taboo Magazine. You can check her out, and you're going to do... You're going to be doing more photography. Yeah. This is a September, October issue, and I, it may still be around. Oh, I'm my God. Sure. It just came out then. Yeah. Congratulations. It just came out a while, and then the next one's coming out in March. Okay. That's uh, Holly, Hart, and Cyrus. It's like a medical kind of shoe. Oh, okay. Uh, based in a – well, based in the um, in the padded cell that we have at oh, the right, Armory Building, right, which you okay. will see. I'm, we're going to come check out the Armory Building. I cannot yeah. wait. There's like – I remember the – um. I remember the padded cell. I remember the, the, the medical room. I remember I just went in the old kink, in the old building that they have. Uh-huh. Yeah, oh, I, right. Yeah. I went to that one, but I've never been to the new one, which is like this epic. And now they're going to open up tours. People can go, right? Yes. Anyone they have. Go. They do currently have tours. Okay. You can That's sign really up. Cool. I think it's armory at kink.com. Okay, cool. Everyone should check that out. So any final um, sex tips or anything that you would like to share with our, our people listening that they should know about sex and what you've learned? Anything to impart? Wisdom? <laughs> What's your Just, biggest uh, turn on? You know what? You know what I would say? I would say try everything twice. Try everything twice, not just once. I always say once, but twice, why not? You might not like twice it Twice is time. good because the first time might – it's a little awkward. It's a little scary and strange depending on what you're doing. Okay. But the second time, you know, you're a little, oh, okay, I've done this before and let's see. Let's open our minds just a little bit more and okay. see if we can enjoy it. I love it. Thank yeah. you so much, Pony Gold. Absolutely. It's so great to see you. you I'm too. so happy you've been on the show. I mean, seriously, it's been years. Like she was like my second guest. I was like, you know a lot about sex. Come be on my show. Oh my God. And now it's like a whole nother level. So congratulations. Yeah. And there's your success. More. Yeah. There's so much more. There's so okay, much well, you'll have to come back again. So well, we'll thank bring you people for being next time too. You know, next time you bring that. Okay, you're going to come on with the models next time. Well, like you tomorrow. Know, next time, who I would I would really love to bring two particular models. So okay. one of them is Matrice Madeline and the other is Bobby Starr, which they're both doing really yeah. amazing things right now. Okay, that would be amazing. That would be. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much, Pony. And thanks everyone for listening to Sex with Emily. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter, Sex with Emily. And they can check out, what are the sites that you work for in particular? For Wired Pussy and Public Disgrace. PublicDisgrace.com. Okay, check it out. So thanks everyone for listening to Sex with Emily. Was it good for you? Email me, feedback at sexwithemily.com.